Hey Leo, how are you doing? This reading is for Leo for the week of October the 7th to the 13th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Leo, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. What is going on? For the fabulous and most amazing Leos. What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time. The Nine of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. What's coming towards you? The Three of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. What you are focused on? Beautiful. The Sun. Major Arcana for Leo, there you are standing in your power. Can also be very auspicious getting your major in your reading. In your blocked and challenged position is the Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and your outcome is the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, Leo, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. A lot of positivity around you. There's expansion, growth. That's also your ships coming in. It could be getting on a ship, plane, train, automobile, travel. That's where you blossom and thrive. It is also reaping the benefits. So whatever work you produce, there's some kind of like highlight or spotlight being on it. And the Nine of Cups is joy, pleasure, fun, happiness. It can be indulgence being a good company or doing something creative, creative project, and you're feeling really enthusiastic to like take it to the next level. This could also be with business and career. You're getting a lot of attention. Let's see what this uh, nine of cups is. It's like something you've been hoping for, wishing of. It also can be an energy, yes, of somebody who is an overindulger, overspender, overeater, so, you know, if you're in this happy-go-lucky energy, it could be so easily to just be like, you know, the tab's on me, you know, or whatever, right? So just be mindful of the overdoing and the hermit. Major Arcana for Virgo. And the hermit is a withdrawn energy and introspection. This can also be counseling, therapy, doing something that you love. Some of you are counselors. There's about seeking guidance. There also could be a passed on loved one, an angel, your guide. It's possibility of sending you or you're receiving a lot of intuitive hits. But this is about shining your light into dark spaces or you could also be withdrawing from overindulging, overeating, overspending. And it is a really beautiful healing energy or you're recovering from maybe detoxify, detoxifying or detoxification. Or you're doing something quietly and it's making you extremely happy. Queen of Cups, you have the King of Cups down here. This could be some kind of partnership or commitment. But Queen of Cups is somebody kind, caring, devoted, hardworking, and empath. Again, counseling, therapy, something to do with like holistic medicine, therapeutic. Let's see what this Three of Wands is. Yeah, this is like expanding, making your next move or planning. For some of you, you commute or that can also be like vacation freedom and the seven of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy well that's a beautiful energy this is a pause a re like a reflection taking stock a reassessment who do i want to invest in what is worth my time investing in should i scrap this idea should i create some kind of new business opportunity, expand my knowledge, or even expand my bank account. And what's coming with me for the long haul? 
And what do I need to release and let go of? Like what is bogging me down? Because the three of wands can be like, um, yes, strategy, planning, but it can also be travel. So you can't take everything with you. It's too much for you. So again, you're kind of like shining a light on what is making me most happy or what is bringing me joy, pleasure, fun, and what's not. And again, some kind of long haul. Let's see what the sun card is. The sun card is every single positive word you can think of. And anything you give positive attention to here, Leo, you will thrive. It's also like a boost in confidence or like, like I said, vacation, taking some time and space. And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. I feel like that's like a jackpot. The Ace of Pentacles is something new. It also is a windfall coming in. New house, new job, new commitment, new career path. And you can be very quiet about this investment or reaping what you have sown. This can also be something to do with inheritance. There could be somebody at a distance that you do want to plan or invest in. The King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is a business owner, an investor, entrepreneur. Somebody who is either in suit and tie. This person can have their cake and eat it too. Or this investment is totally catching your eye. But I like it. Whatever it is, it's making you freaking happy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is a new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. It speaks of tranquility, peace, harmony. There also could be something about water, like travel plans or moving relocation. So this could be like buy a body of water. Or there's an energy of a new situation that you're not aware of. It hasn't maybe come across your path yet. So once you see it, it's like you can't take your eyes off it. Let's see what this Ace of Cups is. Yeah, and King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is like King Pin. It's somebody, again, who can have their cake and eat it too. But I would just watch the overdoing, overeating, overspending. You know, make sure you place healthy boundaries. King of Pentacles can also be, you know, somebody who is wanting to invest in you because maybe you make the finances. So make sure that person is there for the right reasons. Can also be somebody who owns their own business. And, and the death card. Wow. Major Arcana 4 Scorpio. Change, transition, and transformation. You could also be transferring in one department and going into another. So if let's just say you work for a company, this is like a one step into it more. And again, um, still looking at what is making me excited about life? Or what am I wasting my time right here? It's kind of like a, a pause, a breather, a reassessment of some kind of investment. So there could be something coming or being brought to your attention again. And this can be a smooth change or transition. That's if you allow yourself to be flexible and go with the flow. Can also speak of fertility. A light, easy, innocent approach to you. Fun in the sun. Or there is some kind of like in the blocked and challenged position, having a hard time being vulnerable because unconditional love or expressing love. King of Wands. King of Wands is somebody charming, charismatic, a go-getter, being bold, being brave. And see how you have like the microphone. So again, spotlight. Or there's something being like highlighted. Maybe something that you've been quiet about. And, you know, the King of Cups can also be an energy of move. So you might have three cards of movement. 
and you know somebody who's kind caring they're able to respond but they don't overreact emotionally they're emotionally intelligent or highly intuitive or your intuition is like guiding you at this time let's see what this king of cups is it can also be a love offer or just you know somebody who is a kind caring physician doctor very mature energy wow and the ten of pentacles holy smokes so remember when I was saying it's like you've hit the jackpot or there's a jackpot opportunity and the ten of pentacles is your end all be all your big old house your white picket fence or inheritance there is something about a lump sum being a good company friends family loved ones and see how this king of cups is holding this bubbly so you could be like popping champagne some kind of freeing up energy or a new career investment or money investment here temperance just going back to the overeating overspending overdoing it so when you're in this happy high vibrational energy or maybe you've landed some kind of job and you're just like in a totally different tax bracket and you're like drinks are on me right so temperance is about being divinely guided but doing things within balance and moderation not rushing yourself or doing anything excessively so mentally physically emotionally and spiritually ground your energy this is also a grounded energy in being in water. So there could be like something to do with like a water element. And Ten of Pentacles is like commitment. Just a new commitment or working from home. You could also be doing things around your home. Maybe you're stringing up lights. <laughs> you could also be having some kind of party here. That's like surprise. Because the hermit is quiet or very knowledgeable or wise decision what's underneath the temperance high priestess again quiet secrecy or mystery or there is somebody who is well tempered and highly intuitive around you this person is like a vault but really beautiful energy like i said this is like your jackpot situation or like an, an opportunity. And it can be at a distance. Or withdrawing from, from something you thought was a wish fulfillment or dream come true. And taking something new. It's almost like quietly quitting or something. listening with your heart i trust the messages i receive from my heart and leo you are the ruler of the heart so that feels like the expansion of the heart it's almost like your heart is like growing or there's some kind of like fond relationship friendship it doesn't have to be always love and romance this could also be like your boss just loves you this could be you going out to your boss's house, whatever, right? Coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. And this feels like the hermit. See how it's like the ray of sunshine? Or maybe you're just like, in the spotlight or receiving and getting a lot of attention. Make sure that people are around you for the right reasons not because you're coming into some kind of like windfall or great opportunity so maybe that's why you're being really quiet about it you're not telling people of how overjoyed you are or your healing and like detoxification like purging the overeating overspending maybe you're feeling more energetic and feeling better about yourself and emerging into grace I open my soul to grace and see how, again, the body of water, 
And the lotus flowers speak of peace and harmony. And again, the grounded and the water. Something by like water. Accepting what is. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. Feels like if you were sleeping, you're wide awake. <laughs> or some kind of like jackpot opportunity, jackpot investment. Um, it also can be like a getting together with friends, family, loved ones, or there's an inheritance or there's something here. Maybe there is some kind of change or transition. And again, it can be some kind of smooth change or transition or somebody wanted like a, a change or a change in scenery, a change of job. It's happening for you. Just say good things are coming my way. I step into my power. I'm listening to my heart and it feels like it's expanding or like your heart's blowing up about something and flute disappointment in a friend or a lover withdrawing from people again who are overspender, overeater, overdoing it or over consuming. And here, um, there's a change here, a change in heart, especially when the ace of cups is in the blocked and challenged position. And that's a really good pause. The, the seven of pentacles is like an investment. Who should I invest in? What is worth my time investing in? Should I scrap this idea? Should I take this new opportunity? And this is a big old seed for you to plant. Yeah, victory. V, victory in some endeavor. Keep pursuing that goal. And eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. Pigeons flock together. Eagles soar alone. And eagles see from great distances. Again, by water. A lot of eagles are usually like by water. Flowers, happiness. Purse, pay attention to your finances. Just going back to like, yippee, yippee, I'm getting a new job. You know, um, <laughs> the round of drinks are on me or, you know, <laughs> overspending before you even getting your first paycheck. Just watch that. Or if you're in like a new relationship and you do, there is a nine of cups of like somebody who is selfish, self-centered, smug, and feels entitled to what you have. Or you do have a love bomber in your external environment, but you're putting this person on pause or on ice. And then you have wheel indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. And if you have somebody who, you know, is allowing their life to ramble aimlessly, that's that pause and reassessment, right? Towers, solid foundation, success with effort. That's that new commitment. And you don't have to be popping champagne, but you're just feeling really good in this company. And it's like dog barking advice from a friend. This could be taking some kind of great advice from a water sign, an earth sign. You also have a water sign, earth sign up here. This person is packed with knowledge and wisdom. And mountain or mountain, major challenge to overcome and star guaranteed success. And it's just being highlighted to face your true north yeah um there's just somebody who does want a second chance or there's an energy of a change in heart and that could be job and career it could be in whatever here but really beautiful reading i would say this is a jackpot opportunity to not um sleep on this one i don't feel like you are leave me a comment down below let me know how this resonates with you like share subscribe and leo if you want to book a private reading with me you can do so in the description box below click on the link it will take you to the website and you can check out the options there take care my friends Bye bye